we got another gigantic hint that Titanfall 3 could be revealed soon, or they're just messing with us. In this video, we'll talk about why Titanfall 2 has exploded in popularity once again, and why the original gameplay of Titanfall 2 has held up so well, even here in 2023. Okay, so for a quick recap, Titanfall 2 was mysteriously fixed a few weeks ago. Some say by the legendary Respawn Janitor. Others say by conspiracy. Whatever the case is, all platforms can now play online again in 2023. You don't need the North Star client, and the population has jumped through the roof. Creators are back online again, and the variety of skill levels online, oh, it's great. It's a mix of veterans and fresh players and those who played maybe a bit back in the day. If you haven't booted the game back up, or if you haven't even tried it yet, now is exactly the time to play. You're gonna hear me say that in a bunch of videos the next few weeks, because it is incredible when there is weapon and Titan variety again, it's rad. Plus, you can get away with so much more right now since there are fresh pilots out on the frontier. It's very different than the North Star days. We also got another new featured mode this last week. If you haven't been paying attention, this is some of the changes that Respawn has been doing the last few weeks is swapping out the featured mode. This week, we had a mode titled three question marks and the description of the mode is, your rockets will blot out the sun which of course is a quote from the movie 300. All right, let the conspiracies and the rumors flow at this point. Even if this is all an elaborate prank, I'm here for it. I want to believe it. My hopium for Titanfall 3 is restored. Or maybe they're just messing with us, which would totally stink, but who knows? If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you will know that I've covered TF2 since it launched and I've loved the game ever since. You're probably irritated with my like, checking in on Titanfall videos the last few years because I just, I adore this game. I got to Gen 7 on the Xbox One, which is where I started back in 2016. And then on PC, I'm like halfway through Gen 3, played loads of North Star, but I've missed this vanilla experience quite a bit. Something about unlocking and progressing, part of the grind that Respawn nailed so well. The rewards after every single match and just the speed and the balance between finishing a game having just enough time to change your classes and then getting thrown right back into another match again. Playing again and seeing so many of the Titanfall creators making videos, it's got me really nostalgic and reminiscing a different time here on YouTube, where it was so much more community focused and less all about the algorithm game. Everything these days I feel like is all algorithm first. You gotta nail that perfect intro to get the perfect view duration. Just wasn't the case back then. I don't know what it is about the Titanfall scene, but there's something really authentic and genuine and kind about the creators in that space. I've been seeing videos from Tony Mo and Iniquity again, and it just, man, it makes me think so fondly back to this time and this scene. People play and love Titanfall 2, in my opinion, because the sandbox gives you nearly endless options for play styles and player expression. The movement system alone is straight up limitless. Between stim and grapple, you could spend years and never master all that there is. Add in slide hopping and momentum preservation tech, and it's basically a movement kid's dream. That wasn't even a term like when this game came out. And yet this game is so spot on with the desires of hyper cool movement tech within a multiplayer PvP game. Then you have tons of weapons to choose from and lots of Titan options. So much depth there that you really can play this game for years and years on end. And in my opinion, not get bored. It's not a game that I can play for like four hours at a time, but it is a game that I can play for six, seven years now, every once in a while, and always feel like there's more to progress and things I haven't tried before. Speaking of which, if you are a new player, I just want to throw this out there. I've had comments talking about it. People don't really like, or veterans I should say, don't like Spitfire, Car, Monarch, Tone. They hate on those weapons because they're very easy to use. And like in the case of the Spitfire, a lot of times it's players just camping on a roof, taking people out, and it's frustrating if you're trying to explore the movement tech within the game. So if you're unaware, like people hate on the car because it's extremely easy to use. I might even have it in some of the gameplay here. I barely have touched the thing. I'm more of a Volt player. Um, 
Monarch, same story. Tone, yeah, it used to be like the best ever that Monarch came around and they're just, they're very easy kits and weapons to use and they're very strong. And so you'll probably get some, you'll see some spice in the chat if you're using those weapons. I'd recommend checking out some of the other sandbox items because there's a lot of cool stuff here, but use whatever you want to, who cares, it's game, right? Part of why Titanfall 2 also holds up is the matchmaking. Like I mentioned earlier, the rhythm, it's fast. At least right now, while there's players, you get into matches very quickly. There's very light skill-based matchmaking. If it's even here anymore, I read interviews before the game came out talking about a system that they didn't name as SBMM, but sounded like they were going for some skill-based element, but I really couldn't find anything post-launch talking about it, and I've never really felt like this game had egregious SBMM that took away from the experience. You had a great menu system and you could get in and out so quickly. And many new games are legit missing this. They take forever to boot up, compiling shaders, irritating menus that are designed to lead you towards microtransactions. Oh yeah, didn't even talk about that. Titanfall 2 didn't monetize the game to death like so many current AAAs. You had great monthly post-launch support. Not only was the game complete on day one, great single player, great multiplayer, they were able to add monthly meaningful content updates from new game modes, smaller maps, a whole PVE horde mode, which was great. It's still fun, you should go try it. It was the blueprint for what in my mind is nearly a perfect traditional FPS game. I understand that the battle royale craze had to happen and that live service titles like Apex Legends are important. But I truly believe that a Titanfall 3 could absolutely succeed. I bet you Titanfall 2 was financially successful for Respawn. Even if you just look at the Titanfall series as their stepping stone into Apex, it is in my mind a huge success and I'm glad that they pursued it. And now that Respawn is a much bigger studio with so much more clout in the space, and people have done nothing but sing praise for Titanfall 2 for the last seven years. You give a Titanfall 3 a solid release date, good marketing budget, and it's not going to be crowded around some of the other big competitor FPS games, 100%. Streamers and creators cover the game, and as long as it's halfway decent, it will be super successful. I'm sure they have learned a ton the last few years with Apex Legends. Now, if you want the full story of the last few weeks for Titanfall 2, every updated mode, the changes, the new items they've put on some of the maps, check out the video linked here on screen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.